working at their own time also. Mm -hmm. No, and availability. Mm -hmm. Well, we get a minimal remuneration for every case that you dispose. Honorarium na siya. It's very small honorarium. Yeah, okay. That budget magud comes from the Supreme Court. Mm. We don't have our own funding actually All right. in, in the national office. Mm -hmm. So that is actually the function of the commissioner. Mm -hmm. So if you file a case sa national, then we refer it to the commissioner, mm -hmm. Ms. Raffold. Okay. If a case is filed sa Supreme Court, then the Supreme Court refers it um, to the IBP. Mm. And then IBP refers it to the commission. I'm sure Marge is very interested. Wala, wala but it's a very noble. Wala may problema sa pliti. Correct. Diba tag-iyam ni Gerla? Iyam ni Gerla nung iya. Parahon lang. Diba? Para parahon naman niya. So, wag na. Tagal yung magdungan tagal. Ay, because we, ha we have a lot of activities together, diba? Oh, correct. So, why not? Why not? Oh. Mag-abot na dito, ha? Mag-abot na. Mag-abot ang tulong na pod. Kita na sad. <laughs> So okay, so mo na siya ang from the commissioner, and after the commissioner, I review paginas bar discipline, a bar board of governors. Board of governors, of course. Okay. Um, we do study the case. We deliberate on each and every case. How often does the board of governors convene for purposes of bar discipline? Right now, we're looking at um. Because this will be we, during we meet Magot every month oh. mm. for our board of governors meeting mm. every Friday. Okay. And we intend to spend Saturday and awang unsanika service Saturday and Sunday. Wow. That is allotted for bar discipline cases. Wow. In anak yut kadaghan duha yut. So usma kailangan juga mo adtus Manila. Yes. Na? At your own expense tapod na. Yes. Ay, okay. Ana na siya, for the love of IBP. No. But we do, uh, on the average, if we look at it based on the past administration, oh. past term, mm -hmm. they're able kuno to dispose and they target to dispose about 150 to 200 cases every CBD. Wow, okay. So let's let's make this clear. <clears throat> Kung dili na siya ma-review sa Board of Governors, dili po na i-review sa Supreme Court? No. The Wala. Supreme Court can do it moto proprio. Yes, on their okay. own. On their own. Mm -hmm. if, if this have already been referred to the IBP, mm -hmm. then they wait for the recommendation from the IBP. Can you pag review sa board as an entire board you need they yes. have na division division. No. Ah, okay. But what we do in order so, to We have to have a quorum. Okay. Uh, so I uh, thought so, everybody must be there. No, we have to have a quorum. Quorum lang. lang. Right. But each of us are as para to expedite by imagine mm -hmm. 200 cases in tag sa tag sa ord. Exactly. So what we do is that we do we we are given the we are assigned cases mm -hmm. to to this to, to study mm -hmm. about because there are nine of us mm -hmm. so we get i think about 15 to 20 cases each Ooh. to review a month. it's either in a month so it's oh. either a new case mm -hmm. or a motion for recon mm -hmm. consideration nga caso with which we will review mm -hmm. so that kami we will be the ones to study and and discuss it Within among or amongst ourselves, okay. and then make our recommendation. But we will still decide as a body, mm. entire. It cannot be nga kami ako ra ang decide. So usually, <clears throat> unsa may unsa may penalties nga ma kuha sa usaka earring lawyers. Well, o it could be earring lawyer. Well, it could be as low as perhaps a reprimand to okay. as bad as disbarment. Okay, so Depending. reprimand meaning kasaba ra ni siya. Warning lang. And then na poy suspension. Fines, no? Na a. Na poy fine, no? na poy maabot 1 million. Mm. And suspension. then there is suspension. Yes. Suspension uh, depende ra certain gira. period no. or sometimes an indefinite suspension. So, lisod ng indefinite suspension. It's like this barment. No, okay, mo apply na po kag balik ani yes, suspension. Yes, yes. Or disbarment, meaning ana permanent na gud ka nga kuaan og title. You will oh. be taken off from the role of attorney. Mm. Deleted yun. So unsa man na siya, attorney Elaine, kung ma-disbar ba ang usa ka abogado, unsa man siya to in order to go back to as as a lawyer, unsa may does he have to take again the bar or just reapply to the Supreme Court? Well, if you look at it based on mga past na Supreme Court cases, mm. no? It does not actually the Supreme Court doesn't actually close its doors mm. on lawyers who have already been disbarred. Mm. There has been several instances where in um, after Years, mm -hmm. no, after a few years, and after showing remorse, mm -hmm. proof of remorse, of course, and good conduct and um, worthiness to be reinstated, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court did, in fact, on some cases, um, lift 
the disbarment and allowed the lawyer to be reinstated okay. sa yung status as a lawyer without taking the bar Again. exam. Okay. So, wow. What's difficult okay. lang is that um, if you are suspended Um, and you are disbarred, mm. for you to be able to practice law again, you should get a court clearance from all of the courts in the country. Wow. Yes. So, oh. that's not a walk in the park. Wow. Okay. It's, it's so, so from a party to bo- so law. Yes. Wow. Okay. That's 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 actually one of the requirements. All right. For you to be able so to practice law. So it's it's a big law. it's a big challenge, no? Mm-hmm. I will. Kuna dapat magtinarong tasa tungo pagka abogado. Mm. So the being a lawyer, uh, you know, the the challenge does not stop only after the bar examinations, but even to maintain that good conduct. To the last day that you practice law. Okay. Mm. Up to your last breath. No. Wow. Good behavior, good. No? Mm. Let's not good. give the profession a bad name. Yes. yes because so that is a requirement mm-hmm. of each lawyer to really give uh, good conduct and good behavior. And as- let's go now to other requirements nga, uh, aside from good conduct. Let's go to mandatory <laughs> Mandatory continuing legal, continuing education. legal education or diba MCLE. Very recently, na kontak man ang Cebu City o MCLE. Yes. yes. Ngano kailangan mani sa mga abogado? Because of Bar Matter 850, okay. which was passed during the time of Chief Justice Hilario Davide. Mm-hmm. Mandatory continuing legal education is actually a 36 units um, requirement. Mm-hmm. Um, that we impose on lawyers for them to comply within a three-year period. So 36, that that goes about four days, no? Four days if you have it nine in hours nine each. hours. Uh-huh. So we always have it at eight to six in the eight to six mm. in the morning up to six in the evening. Okay. So there are certain subjects mm. that are actually required mm-hmm. um, based on Bar Matter 850. We have updates on inter, um, substantive law. We have trial and pretrial skills. We we'll have alternative dispute resolution, legal ethics, public international law, and we also have certain MCLE prescribed subjects. Mm-hmm. So not necessarily specific number of units, mm-hmm. good that the lawyer has to take wow. within okay. the three-year period. Mm-hmm. And Once you are able to comply with that, you are issued your MCLE certificate for that compliance period. Mm. And if you are a practicing lawyer, you need to indicate it in your pleading. Exactly. Because otherwise, your pleading will be considered as a mere scrap of paper. See, that's how important the compliance is. Sort, in other words. For the MCLE. Yes. Mm. I just would like to take this opportunity, uh, Galha, to thank all our lawyers who attended mm. our MCLE. How many lawyers did that, uh, attend that? for the last MCLE? About 200 lawyers attended wow. the MCLE. Okay. So, wow. I would like to thank all those who attended. Mm. Thank you, IBP Cebu City. Thank you, USJR School of Law. Yes, because that was a joint, um, project. joint yes. project, no partnership yes. with the IBP Cebu City mm-hmm. and the University of San Jose Recoletos yes. College of Law. So, congratulations. especially to Yes. <laughs> especially to Attorney Michelle Mendez. Yes. Oh, Michelle. Um, I think so, she hosted, right? She, uh, she was the one who, who, who chaired uh-huh. the MCLE. Yes. So. For IBP. Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And Annabel Pulvera also. And oh, Bingo for hosting. Of course. Oh, oh. Nagid sila, The activity. Mm. So, aside from MCLE, unsa pa ato ang mga project in the projects in the IBP. Well, there is that plan, the long, long, long proposed plan, which we call as the, so nagitawag na natog malas, <laughs> mandatory legal aid service. Okay. No? Unsa um, man ang malas or mandatory legal aid. Emlas ra magitong aid. tana. Good. Oh, lagi. <laughs> Pero murag malas Lawyers magitong Lawyers call it malas. malas. Okay. Why is it Malas. Referred to as malas by lawyers. Malas siya in a sense that lo- it's called mandatory legal aid service. Um, under that proposal, a lawyer has to render 60 hours of pro bono. 60 hours for one year or per month? That's the thing because the initial proposal was 60 hours in a year. Okay. But... Um, What we are looking at is maita 60 hours na lang po within the compliance period gihapon of MCLE three years mm-hmm. just like MCLE, MCLE. Mm-hmm. but um, we changed that already to SILAS or the Comprehensive Legal Aid Service which mm-hmm. is already pending approval before the Supreme Court unless there would be um, changes so pending approval M- MLAS is still SILAS, Silas na 
Silas na. Mm. Okay. So, Comprehensive. It's still, there's still that possibility that it might be passed early next mm. year. So, unsa ang pagkibaw sa Supreme Court sa ato ang We will compliance. be working hand-in-hand hand with the chapter, the okay. clerk of court, mm-hmm. the local chapter of the IBP, and the clerk of courts of the different regional trial courts mm. and MTCs. And how about for, for those non-practicing lawyers? Or government lawyers. Mm-hmm. There are proposals that instead, because they cannot practice, they cannot appear, mm-hmm. then they will have to pay a certain amount. Wow. Mm-hmm. How much was the proposed amount? The proposed amount was, I think, between six to 10,000 per year. Oh, and this amount will go to the legal aid fund. Kaya ra kay na gal ang um, 6 to 10,000 a year. <laughs> dako dako no for example especially for non non practicing lawyers. Yes. That's no. why we we really wanted to review that ba on what is actually the purpose mm-hmm. or the rationale behind the silas. Mm-hmm. Is it just really to because na mo sagot the option March mm-hmm. nga um if the 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 practicing lawyer may opt to pay mm-hmm. instead of Um, just doing the pro bono. When we say work. practicing lawyer, because that's a, that's a, that that has been a, a debate all yes, over these yes, years. Yes. Kay practicing lawyer man good, kailangan na jud court ka. But you know, if you're a corporate lawyer, you don't go to court. That's still practice. Diba? Uh-huh. That's still well, practice. if you look at even teaching, diba? yes, still practice. Yes. Uh-huh. Anything so, that involves the application of the knowledge of law, whether mm. in and out of court, as defined in the case of Cayetano versus Monson. Oh, oh de ba? Oh, diba? <laughs> Bonga. Pero ma ma ma, unsay tawag na to ana ang common term ang that we refer to to a lawyer who is appearing in court is practicing lawyer. Exactly. So, muna ma, mm. ma, ma, ma interchange na siyang concept. Oh, so, uh, for for those practicing lawyers who may not be going to court or mm-hmm. who may not be representing clients in court, yes. how can they uh, perform free legal aid program? Actually, the, the free legal aid um, program is not limited to those who are in actively mm. doing litigation. Okay. We do, in fact, welcome even without the SILAS being implemented. Mm-hmm. We do encourage our members to be active in legal aid. Yeah. Legal aid is not only litigation. They may opt not to do um, and handle pro bono exactly. clients Kung if they don't like. Lang, diba? Because sometimes those in government have limited practice man. Yes. They have to get permit. Mm. But legal aid is not just confined to handling pro bono cases mm. like I said. They mm. can be active in our radio program. Yeah. Okay. They can do um, they can be active sa ato ang Kini? Kini ato This March. one, this is oh, legal this aid is legal actually aid. without oh. Um, other people knowing it. Mm. And the chapter actively does, yes, what you said, lectures. Mm. Sa mga nagkalain-lain nga mga barangays mm-hmm. no? and mga lain-lain organizations, the PNP, um, the, the mga active barangay. women's groups, yes. uh-huh. no? sa mga um, barangay level mm-hmm. na to, or even in the city, um, they can participate and and do and volunteer to lecture on topics no that they are comfortable um teaching and lecturing daghan violence oh. against women yes um drug addiction drug addiction oh. warrantless arrest mm-hmm. rights of women warrant, children, warrantless arrest no oh. you know magna carta for disabled mm-hmm. persons labor rights so a lot we can do so many things in IBP wow Tinood okay. yun na, daghan yun kay tagmabuhat sa IBP. But for tonight, mag nahutda na yun tag time. Dan mm. magpasalamat ko sa atong... Kung magkulang pa kaya ang atong oras, oh. supposedly, no? Pwede labay yun. Can I come need... back? You, you, oh. need... <laughs> you, you have to come back and tell us more about the projects and uh, some some cases, no? Involving lawyers. Yes, oh. without naming the lawyers. Without Bangha. naming the lawyers. Just, pero, you know, just recently, we have lawyers being ambushed, that's being right, killed. Right. So there are so many concerns that lawyers face today. That 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 may be the that's maybe the reason also March nga most lawyers do not uh, opt na opt ba not to practice anymore or because not to go risk. to litigation because of the risk. Um, no, because, ang exposure was so big. No? Exactly, especially if they have families to take care of and they're the breadwinners of the family. Of course, they're afraid to uh, to lose their lives just for so sometimes. So there are so many senseless deaths that we yeah. face as lawyers. So we'd like to ask some parting words from Governor Batan here exactly. to her constituents. Aside from inviting gentlemen oh. out there who are uh, very <laughs> much accommodating <laughs> for <laughs> okay for parting words uh, well I'd like to for tonight only for tonight only mm. I'd like to thank 
um, the the entire region no of um, IBP Eastern Visayas for the trust and I also thank particularly the members of IBP Cebu City chapter mm -hmm. for the unending ending and unwavering support to all the activities mm -hmm. that we have initiated not only within the chapter but also for the entire region and would I would like to make special mention also to the different law organizations here in Cebu for the support just would like to um, encourage all lawyers to be more proactive not only in our practice but in also but also in safeguarding the profession wow okay and we are um, in behalf of the of this program attorney batan we would like to congratulate you for the outstanding leadership thank that you have you. showed <laughs> us and thank you for inspiring us lawyers uh, to, to do more than what is demanded from yes. us. So, thank you. Oh. Elaine here is a very active of Salya. Of I'm course. proud you kay ang Salya. Yes. I have been telling her nga kailangan maghimo na mi gay organization kay member <laughs> I will be a member. <laughs> <laughs> so Marge. Oh. So in behalf of the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association, I'd like to thank Regal here and Elaine for being with us tonight and for our viewers for watching us this evening. Um, thank you, and I hope you will be able to join us in our next episode.